Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and I will be journaling for the week of March 9th through the 15th. And um, for this week, I have a really pretty kit from Paper Blush Bar. I just shared this in a haul not too long ago, so you guys may have seen it there, but in case you didn't have a chance, I'm going to really quickly show you guys what is included in the kit. So we have eight full boxes on this page and a bow checklist. And this kit is in a really pretty, light champagne gold foil and I just think that's so pretty it's definitely one of my favorite foils and then there's a strip down here I think it's cut into different boxes but um, I'm not quite sure so I'll kind of have to see as I work with the kit this next page has some icons with text and we have a bunch of half boxes which is awesome I love using half boxes in my planning we've got some patterned um, washi strips here and then a Monday through Sunday box some flags a longer flag a habit tracker and then a weekend banner that's very dainty here in the bottom corner. This next page is foiled and it has the date covers. Um, I think these are all heart check flags and then we have um, some today and to do headers here on this side and the last page is the bottom washi. So it's two different strips, this larger one here and then this thinner one and then we've got some different sized boxes and flags as well as this full box here that says notes at the top. So um, for her formatting, there are two pages that are foiled and two that are not. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing in more foiling because I just feel like it's going to be so pretty. And yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. Um, as usual, I'm going to place down my bottom washi first and then continue to build the spread from there. I really wanted to bring in some foiled washi into this spread, but after looking through my washi collection, I didn't have anything that matched this kit. Um, I was looking for something from Simply Gilded and I just didn't have like something that was a darker shade of red slash pink. Um, so I just went ahead and placed down the two washi strips that came in the kit and then I go ahead and move to the sidebar. For my sidebar this week, I placed down the quilt box in the top corner and the quilt box says time to get stuff done. And then above that, I use this gold foiled March sticker that's from Art Box Stickers and then I continue to build the sidebar. I first placed down the this week foiled header from the kit and then I used a habit tracker to track my working out. I then used a washi strip with a bow checklist to mark my happy moments of the week. And then at the bottom for my dinners, I placed down a strip of washi and then I found this foiled this week header from Magic Prince Co. So I decided to pull that in just to add some extra foiling to the sidebar. For my workouts, I use this gold foiled script sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I then go ahead and place down all my date covers for the week and I also pulled in some gold foil date dots. I think these ones are from Artbox stickers and I kind of felt like the font of the numbers didn't really match the kit but I couldn't find anything else that had the complete set of numbers that I needed for this week so I just went along with it. On Monday, I first placed down a bow header that came with a kit and then I used a half box with a gold foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got coffee on Monday morning and I had to get an extra shot because I was super tired on that day. I then used a washi strip with this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, to mark that I was super sore because the day before I went to a rock climbing gym and I definitely overexerted myself. So I was just like really struggling for a couple days. Then I placed down a full box at the very bottom. Continuing with my day at work, I found this bow paper clip sticker from my newest addiction and I pulled that in to mark a meeting I had that afternoon and then I wanted to mark the show that we watched that night. So I found this flag sticker that was from my leftover stash. I'm pretty sure it's from my newest addiction as well and the gold foil TV sticker is from Magic Prince Co. I had to stay at work pretty late that day so I used this working mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that and then that's it for Monday so I go ahead and move to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I first placed down a today header at the very top. Then I used this flag sticker from the kit with a pencil from Samantha May Sticks to mark my morning meeting. I then had an IEP meeting, which are meetings that we hold for students in special education. So I go ahead and use a flag sticker from the kit with a tiny bow from Chic Chic Designs. I just got those, so um, I was really excited to pull them in. Um, then underneath that, I put down a full box. At the very bottom, I placed down a half box, and then in the remaining space, I used a three bow checklist, and originally I used a to-do header, but I do switch that out for a bow checklist, or I'm sorry, a bow header later on because I was trying to use a bow header every day. Um, I used the checklist to mark some things I did that day, and that gold foiled grocery sticker is from Hazel Sticker. 
That night, I had a sudden urge to bake some cookies, so I used this adorable baking mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that. Then on Wednesday, I placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a bow header with a flag that came with the kit, and this bow sticker is from um, Sticky Fingers Co. I used that to mark a morning meeting that I had. And then to mark my IEP that afternoon, I again used a flag from the kit with this really tiny bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs. I then placed down a half box to mark my working out. The shoe sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and then the workout script sticker is from Samantha May Sticks, and it's the same one that I used in the sidebar. At the end of the night, I just did a YouTube binge. I found this adorable Laptop Girl sticker from my leftover stash. I think that's from Happy Dia Stickers, and I also pulled in this gold foiled YouTube sticker from Randy.Plans. Before I moved to Thursday, I really quickly switched that to-do header for a bow header instead, like I mentioned earlier. And then for Thursday, I started by placing another bow header at the very top with a flag sticker that was originally from my newest addiction. It rained on Thursday, so I decided to pull in this rainy sticker from Whimsical Cat Studios. It's definitely one of my favorites. And then I had to drive from one school to the other. So to mark that, I used a little circle icon that came with the kit, and that car is from Nicole Hutch Designs. On the way to my other school, I decided to pick up some Del Taco, and that taco sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. I then placed down a half box to mark some meetings I had that afternoon, and then I used a full box at the very bottom. In the remaining space, I put down a Today header with a washi strip to mark um, date night, and before I do that, I go ahead and place down a meeting sticker that's from Hazel Sticker to mark my two meetings on the half box, and then for date night, I used a gold foiled heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts, and then that text sticker is from Artbox Stickers. Moving to Friday, Friday was quite a crazy day. I first placed down a Today header at the very top and then marked my coffee with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker. So Friday, we got the news that our district and our schools would be shutting down because of COVID-19. So there was just a lot of chaos in the air. Um, this is completely uncharted territory for all of us. So we were just, you know, we just had a lot of questions about what to do and how to move forward. Um, so to mark that, I used this Dramatic Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. I thought that was a pretty good representation of just like all the craziness that happened on Friday when we got the news. And then I placed a full box underneath that. I then placed down a bow header and cut up the checklist from the kit into two items so that I could mark that we went to BevMo and H Mart after work that day. We had to stock up on our essentials and beer was definitely at the top of the list. Um, I used another grocery icon from Hazel Sticker and then at the very end of the night we watched a movie so I used a popcorn sticker and I just decorated it with a tiny bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs. I then decided to include something on the full box because there was some empty space in the center. I used this backpack sticker from Simply Me Kish. It had some text on it, so I just went ahead and cut it off. And then I just marked that I had to pack up all my files so that I could work from home and get some reports done during our school closure. For the weekend, I decided to place down the weekend banner at the very bottom on the washi strip because I really didn't want it to take up too much space. So on Saturday, I first placed down a full box. Um, I pulled in the sleeping mask sticker that's from our box stickers to mark that I had a chance to sleep in on Saturday. Then I used a bow header with this little arrow from the kit and that car sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. I use that to mark that we drove down to San Diego that day because we had a friend's birthday party to attend. First, we grabbed some lunch. So I used a gold foiled utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks and then to mark the birthday party I used a half box and then I found these balloon stickers in my leftover stash but I'm not sure which shop that was from. I layered two headers together to create a larger washi strip and then I placed down this gold foiled heart from um, White Deer Stationery to mark that we went over to a friend's house to chill and just kind of catch up with him afterwards and then we drove home so to mark that I used a house sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. On Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom because I already knew that's where I wanted the full box. And then moving back to the top, I first used a bow header and then I pulled in this large pillow sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that I had a lazy morning on Sunday, which is always lovely. I just decided to write directly in the pillow. 
I then went out to grab some beers with a couple friends as like an early St. Patrick's Day celebration. So we went to an Irish bar and that was really my last outing before starting to self-quarantine. Um, I used a beer sticker and again decorated it with a bow from Chic Chic Designs just to add a little more foil. And then um, I used another half box later in the day. In the middle space, I pulled in this gold foiled heart sticker. I can't remember which shop that's from because I think it was from a sampler. Um, but anyways, I marked that I took a nap on the couch when I got home and then on the half box I pulled in this gold foiled arrow sticker that's from Nikki plus three and I marked that we started to quarantine like I said um, I also used a gold foiled checkbox from Samantha May sticks and this edit sticker from Magic Prince Co to mark that I worked on a plan with me that night I move back to my sidebar and fill out my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And I just realized that I forgot to write in the happy moments header. So I'm going to go back and do that right now. Um, but anyways, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I felt like I used a lot of the stickers, but it looks like there's still quite a bit left over. So um, I'm adding all of those to my leftovers pile. And now I'm doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling in this spread. I definitely tried to pull in as much as I could, especially seeing as only half of the kit actually came foiled so um, a lot definitely came from my collection and I'm just doing a walkthrough so you guys can see more of the details of this spread um, I really love how this turned out I think it's so pretty I was originally gonna use this kit in February because I felt like it was very like Valentine's Day with those like deeper reds but anyways I'm glad I was still able to use it and yeah that is it for this week please let me know what you think and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below I will definitely get back to you sometimes it takes me a while but I promise I always answer and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching today and for supporting my channel. As always, you guys know I appreciate that so much. And um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and taking care of yourselves um, in this time. And yeah, thank you so much again for joining me today. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.